Boker Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Quick take of our broadcast here. The drive <clears throat> called the war zone. Rumors fly that Russia has dropped the father of all bombs in Syria, near Deir Zor, there where ISIS has been held out. And of course, uh, we know the Syrian Arab army has been making major advances against them. And now there have been eyewitness reports, according to the drive, that Russia has actually dropped the mother of all bombs. And but we have no confirmation with the Russian authorities and really no seemingly to be any reports out there that uh, Russia's claiming it, except for one interesting article that came out on Pravda.ru uh, in the Russian language. And I kind of thought that this article here was very provocative in that the title itself says, The West Scared of the Russian Father of All Bombs. And of course, <clears throat> they're citing in the report right here that... Uh, uh, from the drive and what they were publishing about this and here's what they say which kind of seems to lean towards the possibility that yes Russia actually used this bomb inside of uh, uh, Syria it says Western users of social networks shared information that Russia allegedly dropped this most powerful non-nuclear bomb on the terrorist in Syria uh, the IG uh, that is in Syria as reported by the drive it it's possible that this may be the first time that Moscow has used this type of weapon in combat on September 7, 2017. On Twitter, a post appeared in which was alleged that eyewitnesses and activists near the Syrian city of Deir Azor saw this bomb in action. So far, no confirmation of the use of the father of all bombs has been given either by the English language media or, uh, or <clears throat> of Russia or the Ministry of Defense. Uh, but they do say in this case, we are talking about the aviation vacuum bomb of high power, about which very little is known. It is reported that the AVBPM weighs more than 14,000 pounds and power of an explosion reaches 44 tons uh, in, uh, in <clears throat> as far as its equivalent there. According to the publication, uh, so Russia made it clear to all enemies of Assad that the regime that is not necessary to enter in the territory in which the IG force uh, to, to retreat, uh, who's, <clears throat> who's actually retreated. Uh, now it goes on to say here, this is what I thought that was interesting, the only reason why I'm reading the entire article for you. <clears throat> Regardless of whether Russia actually dropped the father of all bombs in Syria or not, the Kremlin has already decided to use this territory as a testing ground for demonstrating its latest weapons. <clears throat> Even if they do not suit for the current situation. So if the father of all bombs is really uh, in a state of combat readiness, it may very well be that over time, we will be able to see it in action in this war-torn country, sums up the drive. Now, I think it's kind of interesting that, uh, of course, the drive is what they're quoting from here, but uh, nonetheless, it doesn't seem like Pravda is trying to downplay the possibility that Russia actually used the mother or the father of all bombs in Syria. Uh, and it may also be a sign to the United States that if you get involved in North Korea, uh, we do have this bomb and you can now see what we can do as a result as well if there's a spillover of this war. So, <clears throat> interesting, I would have to say at this point. I'm Stephen Benoon, you're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.